Welcome, and uh, I want to show you how to measure vertical dimension of occlusion using the VDOC craniometer. VDOC stands for vertical dimension of occlusion. So we were always taught in dental school to determine vertical dimension um, from the nose to the chin. Uh, we would have to put a dot on the uh, nose or chin using a pen. Uh, now, the records and measurements, how to find vertical dimension, we were taught that uh, the difference between vertical at rest and vertical open is three millimeters. And the traditional method for measuring vertical dimension has always been putting a dot on the nose and the chin. The problem is that the tissue gets displaced and those dots disappear between appointments. So we need something that has a little more stability and a little more repeatability in terms of getting vertical dimension. 500 years ago, Leonardo da Vinci drew this drawing called Blue Man and it depicts some stable measurements uh, that exist in the uh, human skull. And it turns out that the area from the ear to the outer corner of the eye equals vertical dimension of occlusion um, <clears throat> at rest, which means three millimeters are added to that. So in order to get vertical dimension of occlusion closed, you'd need to deduct three millimeters. This was uh, proven by Dr. Silva at Columbia University showing the measurements and this is how we uh, take the measurement. You go from the ear to the corner of the eye and then it's just a matter of turning the caliper, the VDOC. Uh, there's a small step down that you can see and you measure from under the nose to under the chin and those are bony landmarks. And that's all there is to it. It's very, very simple and you can record this in your chart and uh, use it for future reference. To order your VDOC caliper, visit smartcraniometer.com or call 800-906-9298. Thanks for watching.